Researchers in Stanford's Biomimetics and Dexterous Manipulation Lab have developed a material that can stick to about anything without being sticky. The material, inspired by the gecko, is composed of rows of microscopic rubber wedges that to the touch are not sticky. However, when properly engaged with the surface, create adhesion. And when you want to let go, a simple puff of air does the trick. Let's go into the lab and learn how it works. So here we have our rubber material, and it's just rubber. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It's not sticky, but it's super grippy. So if we take our tile here and we put it on the glass, we see I can just barely touch it, and it won't light up. I can push on it, and we see, yeah, it lights up just like we expect. Um, but the interesting thing about this material is now if I pull down in shear, it also lights up. And so it's an adhesive that can be turned off and on by pulling it in shear. As soon as I let go, the, the light goes away, and I'm able to just pop it right back off. So it's an adhesive that's controllable. So the more you pull on it, the more it engages with the surface. That's which right. means not only does it get more friction, but it gets more adhesion. It gets more adhesion, that's right. So I've got two tiles here in opposition now. And if I set them down, and then I pull in the middle, I can pull away from the surface. And you see now they're lit up because they're on. Um, but as soon as I let go of the force, that's going to go away. And now they're off, and I can remove them with a tiny amount of force. All right, so these are the sensors used to measure um, force, uh, adhesion force, and um, they are kind of overlapped when these sides come together. So what happens then is that these fingers overlap and a shear force that is applied causes the fingers to misalign a little bit and give you that change in capacitance, and that's how we measure shear force. So you basically you've made a MEMS device that you can integrate your adhesive into so you can measure both the shear force and the normal force. Yes. So if I pull and load the adhesives in shear, what it generates is a normal adhesive force. And you can see that on the screen as the measurements kind of turn red and go into that higher uh, tensile force region. And uh, normally, uh, you can also use the sensor for compression. So you can press on different parts of the tile, and it will register the forces. It's been a decade since I finished my PhD on gecko mimetic adhesives. And I'm amazed with how well this material works. I also have to say, it's a lot of fun being back in the lab. So this is a space gripper. Yes. So you can grab things in outer space. Yeah. So the whole idea is you grab them without pushing them away. Right, right. This thing just looks like Frankenstein robotics, high-tech adhesive, yeah. but totally maker. Thank you. This is wild. So the key idea is to make each pair share the load as evenly as possible so that the whole thing can take a big load. So you get it kind of how you want it, you yeah. hit the button, it yeah. locks it on, yeah. and then you turn the adhesion on? Yeah. yeah. So let's try the auto mode. And now it's supposed to engage itself as long as it, as it detects the contact with the surface. Okay. And then you can lift the whole thing up which you couldn't with one pair. You can also do a moment. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, and if you flip this, you can see that with this FDIR sensor, all those are turned on. Wow, they're really engaged. Right? Yeah. And look what happens if I press the release button. All those will um, be peeled up so that they won't be engaged anymore. So, uh, <laughs> That's why you don't have any releasing force. <laughs> that was great. Yep. And then curve on. 